So, you have a new mobile game idea for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Marvel Strike Force. Oh, Marvel is in those movies? That sounds like easy money. What type of game did you have in mind? So you know how Star Wars just recently made a hero collector game called Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Yeah. So I was thinking we could do exactly that. You want to make a Star Wars game and call it Marvel Strike Force? No, no, we'll change all the character names to Marvel. I'm just going to copy all the gameplay. Won't players be upset that you're basically copying an existing game? Nope, not at all. In fact, several other studios have already done the same thing with other IPs. For example, there's a Disney one, and a Looney Tunes one, and a Pokemon one, and you know what they all have in common? No? Tell me. They all make boatloads of money. Ooh, I like money. Please, continue. Yeah, so I was thinking we could launch with like 60 of the most popular Marvel characters. Oh, can you give me some examples? Yeah, I was thinking we could include characters like Spider-Man, and Wolverine, and Thor, and AIM Researcher, and... I'm sorry, what was that last one? AIM Researcher? I don't think I'm familiar with that one. So that character is going to be a minion. Mm. So I decided that it wouldn't be fun to just have superheroes and supervillains beating each other up all the time. So I figured we could include minions for them to beat up as well. Oh, so the players will use all the popular characters to beat up all the minions? No, the players will also collect and play as the minions. I'm not so sure about that. Don't you think it'll be tough to convince the players to invest in a minion over a character like Iron Man? Actually, it'll be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, so we thought about that and decided we would just force the players to use the minions by making them the only way to get popular characters like Nick Fury. That makes perfect sense. Don't worry, sir. We here at Fox Next Studios have some of the best developers in the industry. The players are going to love the minions. If you say so, I'm just worried players won't enjoy investing in nameless minions. Please, sir, they're not going to be nameless. Oh, really? Yeah, there's going to be S.H.I.E.L.D. Operative, and S.H.I.E.L.D. Trooper, and S.H.I.E.L.D. Medic. Those sound more like job titles than names. Well, there's also going to be AIM Researcher, and AIM Security, and AIM Soldier. I... Okay. And there's going to be AIM Infector. Ooh, that one sounds gross. Let's hope there's not some crazy pandemic that that one reminds people of all the time. I know, can you imagine? Ha <laughs> ha ha. All right, I guess if you insist, you can include a few of those in the first 60 characters, as long as you cover all the already popular Marvel characters. How many did you have in mind? 32. Oh my god. I'm sure it will be fine. Aren't players going to be upset when over half the characters you launch with are terrible? Well, we're not going to make them terrible, sir. We're going to make them strong, too, so players can feel good about collecting them. But will they, though? Don't worry, sir. We here at Scopely have some of the top talent in the industry. The players are going to be very happy with our balance team. I thought you said your studio was called Fox Next. Oh, yeah, we just changed the name. Just now? So like I was saying, we definitely wouldn't make the minions weak because we want the players to feel good about collecting them. So a random mercenary soldier is going to be able to beat up characters like Thor, the God of Thunder, and the Incredible Hulk? Yes. Oh, that feels like maybe you didn't balance the combat correctly. Listen, sir, we've already finished the models for all the minion characters, so I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about the combat balance, okay? All right, let me get off of that thing. So I did want to make a few tiny suggestions regarding those boatloads of money that you mentioned. Oh, for sure. The game has to make money, after all. I'm glad you understand. I actually have a lot of ideas I'm gonna need you to include. Okay, shoot. So this says here that every character in the game will be able to get more stars and that will make them stronger. Right. So you should make those stars pretty hard to get and if the players want more, they can give us money. That's a good idea. We can definitely include that. It also mentions every character in the game will be able to equip gear and that will make them stronger. That's absolutely correct. You should make that gear pretty hard to get and if the players want more, they can give us money. Great thinking, sir. This is why you handle all the business aspects. It also mentions every character in the game will have abilities that they can level up, which will make them stronger. Are you going to suggest making those hard to get and then offering them for money? What can I say? Brilliant ideas just come to me. Did you have any different ideas also? I just don't want it to get too redundant. Wouldn't want to annoy the players, you know? I see here that to level up a character in the game requires gold. Let me guess, you want me to make that hard to get and then offer it to players for money? Yes, actually. You know, you have quite the mind for business yourself. I have always been very intuitive. I did want to run a few more ideas by you. Mix it up, you know? 
Go for it. All your ideas so far have been amazing, sir. So it says here that leveling up a character in the game will require these things called training modules. I think I see where you're going with this already. You should make those training modules pretty hard to get, and if the players want more, they can give us money. Yeah, no, I figured. Oh, another idea I just had, and this one's totally different. It's totally different. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yep, I think you'll really like this one. It's totally different than anything we've talked about so far. Okay, let's hear it. So I was thinking we could create an entirely new system where players could choose classes for their characters. Ooh, this sounds very interesting. You could allow players to choose which class they want to make their character, like a healer or a skirmisher or whatever. Add some customization to the characters, you know? It sounds very different. I'm honestly relieved. And to level up these classes, you can require players to equip some crystals or whatever. Yeah, sure, whatever. You should make those crystals hard to get, and if the players want more, they can give us money. I walked right into this one, didn't I? What was that? I said, that's a fantastic idea, sir. You're like a marketing guru. I know, right? My dad said the same thing when he hired me. Well, we actually had a few monetization ideas of our own that I'd like to run by you. Ooh, I love monetization. Let's hear them. So Marvel characters are known for having all different looks throughout the years in the comics. So I was thinking we could make costumes to sell to the players. Ooh, I really like that idea. How cheap can you produce these costumes? Well, that depends. Some of them we can make real quick. Just change a few colors, bada bing, bada boom, all done. That sounds pretty easy. You should probably make these pretty affordable though, since we're already trying to sell the players so much other stuff. I agree. We were thinking around five to $10 each. Oh man, you're hilarious. Yeah, I was definitely joking. <laughs> obviously they should be $50. Yeah, obviously, I mean $5, can you imagine? <laughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to poverty. I think one of the interns just got in the office. Wow. So I'm looking at this list of characters you're going to eventually include. I can't help but notice you have Spider-Man and Symbiote Spider-Man. That's correct, sir. So normal Spider-Man, he's not going to be very good. He's for new players. Symbiote Spider-Man, though, he's going to be very strong. I think we can sell a lot of offers for him. Did you forget you wanted to eventually sell costumes and accidentally include two Peter Parkers? Oh, whoops. Whoopsies. I'm sure it will be fine. So looking over the rest of this proposal, I am a little concerned that you're not providing enough funding to certain departments to allow them to do their job properly. Listen, sir, we here at Boundless Studios have one of the most experienced teams in the industry. We've definitely got everything under control. Thought you said your studio name was Scopely. Did you just change it again? Yep, we changed it again. Oh, changing studio names every 30 seconds is tight. It sure is, sir. So what part of our budget were you concerned about? So it says here the budget for the QA department is a stapler and a box of rubber bands. I'm guessing that's a typo. Well, no, actually. We figured it would be more cost effective if we just let the players find all the bugs and then we just fix them afterward. So why even list the QA department on here? Because if we didn't, then people might be like, what, do you guys not have a QA department or something? That makes sense. So what do you think? Well, this all sounds great to me. I don't see how anyone could complain about any aspect of this game. I agree. I did have one last suggestion, though. Does it have to do with making the players give us money? Oh, absolutely not. This one is all about the players. It's about making the game fun, you know? All right, shoot. 